All right, here we go. Let's do this. It's time. Oh my goodness. Yo. Let's go, baby. Who are you? Who do you serve? All I have ever known in my life, our land, our customs, my family. I got to do this. Burns in the name of unification. Woo! Oh my goodness! Wow! You are still a frog in a well who knows nothing of the sea. The oceans fill with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. Power. Oh, wow. Yo, let's go. <laughs> yeah, baby. So sick. And you will you continue down that river? Or choose another path beyond what we see. Then we must look for it together. We must learn to trust, rebuild, and follow the blade. Ooh! Yeah! Let's go, baby! Jeez! Yeah! Oh, I really hope this isn't copyrighted music. Oh my goodness, the Hidden Blade. Let's go, baby. Woo! Nice. Yo. Okay. The combat is going to go in in this. Oh my goodness. Nice transition. We are the shadows. Ooh, that listen to that music. Classic music. Oh, oh, <laughs> November 15th, 2024. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look at that hidden blade again. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You know, I kind of want to rewatch that like right now again. Let me just, I, I want to see this uh, one more time. Just one more time. I gotta, I gotta say like this, this is just going to be so amazing. I, I am so excited for this. This is probably like the best cinematic of Assassin's Creed since, like, Ezio Trilogy, all right? Who are you? That's just so good, man. Who do you serve? Gosh dang, man. I, the combat is going to be amazing in this. I've known in my life. Our land. 
I already know. Our customs. My family. Burns in the name of unification. So it looks like this is her past and everything. Like everyone basically like dies, it looks like. And she's just fighting, but fails, looks like, and then her whole village burned down. It's a classic samurai story. Classic samurai story. Well, who knows nothing of the sea? The oceans filled with new ships, but they all come. Looks like we might have ship combat. And this is, and it looks like you're playing as two characters, as well. There's gonna be some wild battles, probably. It's gonna remind me of For Honor a lot. I, I hope the combat is kind of like For Honor, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. But I feel like the the combat, the parkour. The story, overall, down that river. is gonna go in. Or choose another path. This is just gonna... What we see. This is gonna look so good. And we must look for it. Together. I bet their bond is gonna be very strong. I'm sure we're gonna go to a lot of different cities as well. Exploration is going to be really fun. I also heard this isn't going to be like, you know. And follow the blade. So sick. So it looks like you can choose between like being a Ronin, which is her, and then you can choose samurai maybe. Uh, maybe it's like at the beginning or something. I don't know. I want to make sure this isn't copyrighted. So I'm going to just go ahead a little bit. That's so sick, though. Like, look at that weapon. A bludgeon weapon. I bet you there's going to be a lot of different types of, like, loot in this as well. So it's going to look great. Ooh, baby. I, I love the classic Assassin's Creed music. It's just so addicting to hear that hidden blade definitely reminds me of Assassin's Creed 3 hidden blade that you could like switch on. So meet Neo and Yasuke. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's watch this too. With our dual protagonist, we have two fantasies, the samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience both and we cannot squeeze both fantasy into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different uh, social class. They have different lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. The historical character of Yasuke presented a really exciting opportunity for the narrative team. We approached it in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Not a lot is known about him, but what we did know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts, and that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, and Jesuits, which made it very sort of tantalizing and enticing from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts with story in between. The more we read about the character, the more he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan and you are discovering Japan also. And on the flip side, we have Nawe who comes uh, from the province of Iga, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as the birthplace of Shinobi. So they're very contrasting perspectives that really expose a lot of different sides uh, and facets of the era. When Oda came, uh, he completely destroyed Iga. We have Yasuke and Oda that coming to destroy the shinobi. So it can kind of create this, this interesting tension between two characters. 
We were able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan Shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi Nagato, who's her, who's her father in the game. So we understand why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father in the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. And as a young person still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And if you ask anybody, it's super clear that samurai will be combat heavy and a shinobi will be stealth heavy. It creates this distinction right away. Yasuke uh, can fight with all his advantage, uh, his stature, like he's, he's a big guy. He can break door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break armor. Compared to Naoi, like her character and their, their outfit, it's, it's really about being stealth, being unseen. She's the only one with the Eden Blade, so they have clear advantage that put them into the, the stealth and the combat, even if they can do a, a bit of both. They're a really great pair together because on one side, uh, we have Nawe, who's very intense and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment. And this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well with Yatsuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Nawe's fiery passion. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. And that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the game progresses. That is amazing. Well, guys, if you are excited for Assassin's Creed Shadows just as much as I am, leave a big fat like, because this is going to go in, man. I am truly excited for this game, and uh, it's about time. We've been waiting a long time for this game. How did I know it was kind of be like, it was going to be like Shadows or Rising Phoenix or something like that? I knew it was going to be something that was like this kind of title and stuff. But man, a lot on the horizon. But I really feel like this may truly be like maybe one of the last of Assassin's Creeds. I know they like showed us a lot of Assassin's Creed titles coming soon, and I feel like that's the last of them. I I, I don't know. I just have a feeling like when they release that Netflix series and everything, like, that's going to be it. But, you know, I, I mean, I hope it's not, but either way, I feel like it's a little prolonged at this point because I it kind of makes sense because they finally gave us what we wanted for so long was an open-world samurai Assassin's Creed game, and we're finally here. We are finally here. We've been wanting this for, like, over 20 years or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. It is. But I can't wait to play this November 15th. It is going to be absolutely incredible. And huge thank you to uh, you know Ubisoft for just putting their work into this. I really hope uh, this title turns out great. And it, it should, man. It really should turn out great. I, I have high, very high hopes for this game. So... Please, Ubisoft, do not let us down with the gameplay, the combat, the story, everything in this. Please don't. <laughs> but with that being said, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Assassin's Creed Shadows. And with that being said, I love you all. And as always, I'll see all of you guys and girls in the next video. Let's go, baby. Assassin's Creed Shadows. Take it easy, everyone.